because I did not record the last Monday I recorded, but I had the Taylor Swift video, so they wouldn't let me post it. <laughs> Copyright laws. And then Thursday night, we did this really cool call with Shirley Jenkins, Junior out of Savannah, Georgia, and forgot to press the phone. So here is our new promo. I'm going to go over this a couple of times, but at the bottom it says you're a shining star no matter who you are, shining bright to see what you can truly be, because that is our motto for our future area. So check this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You get to write down how many MK bucks I will email you tonight. And because... Mama Joanna is tired of mailing out prizes every week. Oh, I'm not tired of getting them. No, no, no. Get, get this. Get this. You are going to have the opportunity to collect MK bucks. They will be emailed to you each week with how many bucks you earned. And at the end of each quarter, we're going to have an auction on Zoom video. Oh, cool. And so instead of me picking your prizes, I'm going to have an array of prizes. And you'll use your bucks and you'll auction. We're going to have an auction and you bid for them. Like we um, used to do. Just like I used to do, but we're going to do it on Zoom. Now, if you're going, if you're in New Jersey and you're going to Terry Skills meeting, and, and Linda Mean is doing it with this as, <coughs> her as well, they are doing MK Bucks, a whole different program at Terry's meeting, and she's doing an auction. So her bucks will be one thing, mine will be the other. Um, anybody else who's doing MK Bucks, they can do their own thing. But this is the Superstars MK Bucks. So we'll talk about it again as we go on. But let me tell you how easy it is to earn bucks. You will email me and tell me how many bucks you earned. And then I will email you the actual bucks. You will print them out and we'll hang on to them like cash. You get $1 for being on time. So we got three more minutes. $1 for being on time. You get $5 for turning in your weekly accomplishment sheet. And remember, if you had a zero week, just put $1. And that way I know, okay? You get $5, <coughs> excuse me, let me mute all of y'all. All y'all, all y'all, we got all kinds of, Karen, what is going on with you? I can't even mute you. Um, okay, now she's muted. Okay. Now everybody's muted. Okay, good. Um, so a dollar for being on time, five dollars for turning in your weekly accomplishment sheet each week. So if you only do it once a month, as soon as you lose. Five dollars for if you are high sales and or high team building for the week based on your weekly accomplishments. Ten dollars when you have a new team member and then an additional $10 when they're qualified. And then at the end of every month, like, um, the, at, so like at the end of June, the next meeting is July 1st, you will get credit for all your orders in June. And if you've done a qualified order or higher, you will get an extra $10 for that. Now, as far as star consultants, you are now earning stars for your star bar. Sapphire is one, ruby is two, diamond is three, emerald is four, pearl is five. Because the star bar program, the bar program ended as of yesterday. You'll get your last star, star thing and then you'll get it at like, what is it, Sharice, 56 or 58 quarters or something like that? Or like 50 something, yeah. Because the 50s are the new 30s. Did y'all know that? Yeah. I'm now 37. Okay, so this, I just posted this on Facebook. So at the end of tonight's call, we'll add up how many, how many bucks y'all got. Now, I will tell y'all this. I am all about grace. Grace, grace, grace. Grace is good. God is good. Okay, so here's your grace. If you, one, if you cannot be on the Zoom video live, as long as you send me a message, text, email, or Voxer, by 5 o'clock on Tuesday, you get credit for the meeting. As if you're on time. What's up with that? Yeah. So basically, everybody, whether they're on time or not, gets a dollar for being on the meeting. Okay. Then, for the rest of June, you can turn in your weekly accomplishment sheet late. 
because this is all going to go out to my unit in a text message and an email. And we just decided today to do this on the director's meeting. So I believe, I don't believe in serendipity. I don't believe in saying, well, too bad you didn't know. I'm going to grandfather everybody in. So you will have till the end of June to turn in your first and second week of June weekly accomplishments and you will get credit for those. So in other words, if you didn't do the first week in June and you didn't do it as of yesterday, you can do it this week and play catch up. And as long as I see four postings, cause y'all can go back and say week ending, week ending. Like if you put your accomplishment sheet on right now on Intouch, it will hmm. automatically, who's still talking? Let me see, who is not moving? So, okay, so if I went on, week, if I went on InTouch right now and did my weekly accomplishments, it would has it as of June 17th. You can go back and make it June 16th, June 9th, June 2nd or 3rd, I don't know, whatever. So you can go back to all those Sundays, every Sunday night. We used to say, while you're watching Desperate Housewives, do your weekly accomplishment sheet. Now we're saying, as you're doing your prayer and Bible study on, on Sunday night, do your weekly accomplishment sheet, because that's much healthier than Desperate Housewives. Okay, and Desperate Housewives isn't on anymore anyway. All right, so we're letting your grandfather in, your weekly accomplishments, and for the month of June, everybody gets a dollar for being on, or watching by five o'clock on Tuesday and letting me know. Now, if you are not in my unit, I'm so sorry, no, I'm kidding. If you are not in my unit, please make sure that if you let your director know you were on the meeting, so I can email you your bucks, um, that you let me know as well, okay? So you guys who tune in later. Okay, so I will go over that again at the end of the call in case anyone's late. So we will not be doing an on-time drawing. Because everybody's getting a buck. So did everybody write down on your piece of paper? I got one buck. Okay, how many of y'all did your weekly accomplishments and already submitted it for the week ending yesterday? Keely did, Vicki did, Arlene did, Debbie did. Um, who else did? Somebody else did. Joan did. Okay, so if you haven't done it, go on tonight, but back it up to tomorrow. To tomorrow. Back it up to yesterday. I swear, it's just cranberry mango. I don't know why I'm talking in circles. Okay, so that's exciting. So that means that you already have six bucks. If that were real money, you could almost get a coffee at Starbucks. Okay, so let's start with some announcements. You guys know you have till June 30th to register for seminar. Step out on faith. It is going to be the most amazing seminar ever. It is, I, I'm already seeing clips from the company and promos. It is going to be amazing. And we're working on our dinner, which is now going to be casual. So you don't have to get dressed up for our unit dinner. You can wear jeans. You can wear a romper. You can wear jammies. I don't care. Super casual. The only time you really have to get dressed up is for awards night and you want to be in something comfy okay because you're standing and sitting a lot and for our where's my seminar folder right here for our mary Kay national area night the theme is um tropical so you can wear something cute and tropical ish um i can tell you right now here it is I am wearing just a little sundress kind of thing. So it's going to be all about paradise and the tropics and all that. I'm sure I was going to order lays for everybody, but I'm sure they're going to give us lays when we walk in. But the good thing is, is that I get to go in early. So how fun, for those of y'all who were there last year, how fun was that having a table right in front of the stage, right in front of everybody, right by the Cadillac. Vicki was like, this is great. This is great. She's getting her picture taken by the Cadillac and we're all dressed up. It's super fun. You guys, you have no idea. No idea. It's just the privileges we get because I'm an executive senior and our ranking. It's, and you guys have put us there. 
you have put us there. So it's very exciting. So I just wanna, I wanna give you one more plug, get registered. Um, if you registered today and you go on um, Travelocity, you can get Southwest tickets, you can get American Airlines tickets, it's still 30 days out because we arrive on the 17th. Starting tomorrow, the next day, the prices are just going to go up and up and up because it's less than 30 days out. So please get registered, get your airline ticket. If you have any questions, call me. There you go. Okay, so very exciting about that. Um, I want to keep encouraging you guys to send people to shite peek into peak. I know you're sick of watching me do my head bopping video, but other people are only seeing it for the first time. And right now I have on my little list, I have seven people in the drawing for the $100 shopping spree. You guys, we need to have 30, 40 people in this drawing. Why are you not sending people to this site? You just send them the link and say, answer the three questions and you'll be entered into a drawing for a hundred dollar diva shopping spree. Nobody's going to bug you to buy or sell anything. That's it. Simple, simple. Okay. All right. Want to make a couple of announcements as far as recognition. First off, you hold the winner so far for June. Oh my gosh. Vicki Starwall, Jewel Scheidt. She's coaching boxing right now. Punching people out, I think. Joan Teal, so jealous. She was eating watermelon today during our coaching call. Jackie Eisenman, whoop, whoop. Diana Murphy, one of my people in Georgia. Uh, Melissa Gonzalez, one of Andrea's unit members. And Jillian, listen to this last name, Frisbee. Didn't they just sound like someone you want to hang out with? Jillian Frisbee. I, I already like her. I haven't even met her. I really like her. Okay, our star consultants, very excited about this. Who finished the year as a star consultant? Our pearls, listen to how many directors. Our pearls, Vicki Starwalt, and drum roll, she finished National Court of Sales. Her first full year in Mary Kay, and she finished the National Court of Sales. She is gonna walk on stage, she is going to get her diamond ring. Oh, 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 where's my seminar file? Hold on. She and I will walk up there together. Sharice will be with us. We will walk up there. Oh, yeah, this side. She will pick out her ring and she'll be like, yes, I could have bought it, but I earned it. So much more fun that way. It just, it shines nicer. It just feels better. Okay, I think Cherise probably has 13, no, she probably has 20 of these. I think I have 13. I'm telling you guys, that is such an achievement. I'm so stinking excited. First full year in Mary Kay, and this woman did national quarter sales. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, very excited. Um, Linda Mead was a pearl. Andrea Zajac, speed of the leader, speed of the gang. Terry Skill. Cherise, myself, and my little daughter Jules, Elizabeth, we're all emeralds. There's going to be a fight, you guys. I'm telling you. On my courts at seminar, it's like going down. We're, we're going down to the, to the end. Tongues hanging out. Sarah Linden out of the Zajac unit is a diamond. Christine McKnight, Evangelisti, Joan Teal, Marcia Stevens, Maureen Coger, Alicia Fermento, all sapphires. And Kathy, did I miss you? I missed rubies. Kathy Crawford and Jamie Bulliard, ruby stars. So excited for you guys. Now, all the orders you place as of June 16th count for the first quarter of the new seminar year. And the reason why the company does that is so that you won't hold things. Okay, you need to get the product in the back door and out the front, in the back door and out the front. Okay, actually my back door is over here, but y'all get the gist of it, right? Okay, in the back door, out the front. So make sure that you've got your sales goal, your faces goal, and you've got the product on your shelf because it makes a difference. I had a customer call, she placed over a $200 order and she said, what time can I pick it up? She didn't even say, do you have it in stock? That's how spoiled my customers are. She said, what time can I pick it up? That, you guys, that's being a department store. That is being 
Macy's, Neiman Marcus, Lord and Taylor, okay? Rather than the little cart going down the, the mall. Okay, as of June 1st, you guys, we gotta start working on these red jackets. Uh, my goal is to have everybody in their red jacket by the end of June, at least. Um, my daughter announced to me this weekend, her goal is to go to seminar as a team leader. Everybody is stretching. Right now, our star recruiter in my unit is Jules, team leader is Jackie Eisenman, and our DIQ, Kathy Crawford. Who else is gonna be in their red jacket by the end of June? You're like, I'm doing it. Vicki's doing it. She's going to go red or go naked. I'm telling you right now, you have got to be in red. Go red or go naked, okay? Be in your red jacket by the end of June because, Joan, I didn't see your hand up, baby. I did not see your hand up. Thank you. Okay, because you get the momentum going into July because we don't take July off. If you take July off, it's going to take you till October to make up for it. Okay, when you own your own business and you are your own boss, you are working on it. You are hustling, okay? We are meeting those goals. Where, where do you want to be for Christmas? What kind of Christmas do you want to give your family? How many debts do you want to pay off as a, as a gift to your spouse or to yourself by Christmas? Pick something huge. Pick a credit card or, or say you're going to pay off the car or say you're going to make the mortgage payments starting in January with, with what you're saving or you're gonna come out of the holidays debt-free. Pick a goal and just go for it. Make it hard, make it super hard. You know, when I went through my divorce and I was a single parent, I wasn't setting goals, I was just trying to keep food on the table and the electricity on and my mortgage payment made. Pick something that is non-negotiable. We talked about this Thursday night, non-negotiable. All right. Our week ending yesterday, I got weekly accomplishments from Joan, Debbie, Keely, and Vicki. And Vicki is going to talk to us. I'm going to unmute you, honey. Um, Vicki is going to talk to us for a few minutes about how she is doing this week after week after week. Because Vicki, you just earned five MK bucks because you are our weekly queen of sales. Over $1,000 in sales. Now tell them yes. what you're doing. Well, I'm not doing a lot different than what I've been doing all along. It's just that I'm doing a little bit harder. Um, I'm working really hard with my clients. Naturally, I'm trying to get new ones. But where I've been making my sales last week was just calling clients that I have. The company has given us some great incentives here lately with the discounts that they've given us. Mm -hmm. So, and that's when they offer those, I always try and order the very max of everything that I can afford to do. Yeah, 60% off. So that's great. So I'm calling all of my customers and I am offering the sets only. They have to buy a whole set. But of any of the sets of their skincare, and I'm giving them 20% off. Because when you think about it, I'm only losing 10%. Mm -hmm because the company's already given me 10% off. And that's what's helping me get over the hump here to finish everything I wanted to finish up for this year. Another thing is like with the Queen's Court, it's really the company has helped me there too. I was putting some figures together today, but actually with the bonuses that they gave us in October, I think it was, and with all of this, they ended up giving me $7,500 towards my Queen of Court. So, you know, just take advantage of everything like that you can. I always try and pad my copay account as much as I possibly can so that when they do come up with these big bonuses, I can take advantage of it because that helps you whether you're taking the extra profit or giving the customer a little discount to increase your sales. Yeah. But that's really all I can say. But you know, when you look at it, and the way I've been projecting it to my people, is my repair wear set, and even though we didn't get it on that, I'm still giving them the discount if they buy a whole set. But $205 set for $164. Or if they buy the big set, they're getting it for 208 And 
anybody who's really using the products regularly, they're going to jump on it. I know I had one lady and she said, well, I've still got some of this and this and this. And I said, well, that's fine. I'll be happy to sell it to you next month at the regular price. But I will not, I will not carry it over. I mean, because I don't believe in discounting ourselves. That cheapens us as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. But I've told them this is for June, only because the company gave us the big discount. And if they give us a discount in the fall or around Christmas, then I'll pass it on to them. But otherwise, I won't do it. But it just goes back to staying in touch with your customers. Right. And that's what I do. Now, the weeks previous, I've been doing a lot of outside stuff. As I told you, I've been doing promotions at the beauty shops. And, oh, my God, they're going over phenomenal. I'm just contacting the beauty salons here in our little town. It's a small town. Now, if they're selling cosmetics and products, I don't even try to touch it. But if they're not selling anything, which most of them are not, just going in, and this is a service I can offer to their customers. And I just promise them I'm not going to harass them. I'm not going to pressure them to buy or anything. Mm -hmm. Just free facials, free makeovers. And 90% of the people buy something. Some of them may not be able to afford the whole ball of wax, but they'll at least get a foundation or a lipstick or a mascara or something. So just work your business, girls. And That's you what I'm doing. What she's doing in these beauty salons is legal. You can't mm -hmm. post, yeah. yeah, you can't post a sign in a beauty salon saying Mary Kay sold here. You can't have a permanent display, but you can go in there and you can do makeovers. And as long as they don't have a consultant, you can sell product to them. So I don't want y'all to get confused about that because what she's doing is completely and totally legit. And sometimes I do run into somebody that has a consultant and I just tell them, please, just I still want you to take your makeover here. And I'll give you a list of what you like, and you can go to your consultant. That's great. So it's worked out great. And I'm also giving the salon owner or manager, whoever's authorizing it, I'm giving her credit as a hostess. So win, you know, win, win. It's, it's a win-win for everybody, especially okay. me. <laughs> you guys, you're you're hearing advice right now. Just a second, Debbie. I'll I'll, I'll answer your question. Um, you're hearing advice from a savvy businesswoman, an experienced, savvy businesswoman who is out there with her side hustle, having fun, making money, changing lives. Mm -hmm. Nikki is all in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can say, well, she doesn't really need the money or she doesn't need another career. Or she doesn't. But you know what? How is she blessing other lives on a daily basis? And I love the fact that she said, well, if you need it next month, you'll pay full price for it. I'm mm -hmm. like, that's awesome. Because the, pro the product is already so well priced. If you guys have ever gone into mm -hmm. like even Ulta or if you go into the high-end stores like Neiman Marcus or Lauren Taylor or Macy's or any of those, and you start looking at the prices and they can't even, they're not even ranked mm -hmm. close to us. Not even ranked. We're going to do a whole thing on the science of Mary Kay after we get back from the seminar. And you guys, it's mm -hmm. going to blow your mind. So start getting on product knowledge and, and product central and learning about that. Debbie, I think, beautiful lady, I think you had a question, honey. What was that? I do. Vicki, did you make the appointments and did all of these for like one day you'd sign up for people to do it at the beauty parlors? I'm going into the salon. Yes, I'm talking to the whoever the manager or owner is and we're setting it up for about a week in advance. I don't want to go too much farther than that because otherwise people lose track of it. We're in a hustle, hustle world today. People don't, I don't remember. If it's not in my book, I don't remember. So I'm setting it up for about a week, two weeks out at the very most. And then all of the girls that's in the salons, they're talking to their customers about it and saying that I'm going to be there. And so far, I've been very, very receptive. I've probably had, I couldn't count on one hand, people would say, oh, no, I don't want anything to do with that. Most of them just say, oh, yeah, I'd love to. And I do take in and I set up a whole display of stuff for them to see, for them to touch, feel. And I am doing a mini facial and then, or a makeover, or if they're really, really interested, I'm doing both if I've got the time. 
you can set up appointments, and I haven't done that yet. I'm thinking about trying a different avenue on it of doing like, okay, I'm going to have a class at 10, 12, and 2 or something mm -hmm. like that. Some days it's a long day for me because uh, usually when I'm doing it, I'm doing it on a Friday or Saturday, which is the salon's busier days. Mm -hmm. And I'm usually working it from 10 to 6. So that's a long day. But I find if I've got a lull in there, I, I can do my reports, I can do whatever, you know. I just take my iPad and stay busy. And then I have to walk out on the floor every once in a while with some little wooden roses and pass those out too. I'm using those just to get them back in the room with me. And um, Vicki, do they have a flyer up for the week and a half before? Or do they have little cards they hand out to people? No, they really haven't so far. Now that's something I need to put together and do. Um, one of the salons, the ones that really got me started with it is where I go. And she keeps a lead box in there for me all the time. So I'm used to working in there. The new ones, I'm just, you know, I've only done two of the other new ones, but I plan on hitting every place in Lord County that doesn't have products. Well, I've always believed that people you do business with should do business with you. Mm-hmm. I really do. I believe that also. Yeah. But so, but see, now I'm branching out to where I'm not necessarily doing business. Now I've got another little camp this last week and it's kind of scaring me to do it but I'm going to try and do it where I get my nails done and I really can't really understand any of them but they're always going oh you ski on your skin so good that's Mary Kay so I think I'm going to be doing a party in the nail salon on a Sunday when they're closed and I need an interpreter <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it but you know I'll what Vicki, that smile and those beautiful eyes and how they sparkle, you do not need an interpreter. <laughs> I know I'll be able to tell you that her women who speak Portuguese from Brazil, it's amazing what they understand just through a smile and a sparkle of the eyes. Okay, I'm going to try it. <laughs> okay, Debbie, did you have another question, hon? No, she did. She answered it. She answered it. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Just, uh, if you can get the salon girls in there to work with him, even if you got to kind of bribe them a little, there'll be a little something in it for you for whoever sends me the most people back or something. But whatever we can do, because if we talk to people, they're going to buy it. Yeah. That's all there is to it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And I've, I've done that in salons before, too, um, when we're doing, like, you know, glamour makeovers and things like that. Mm -hmm. But I like the idea of doing it from the cheeks down. Right. Giving them a new, give them, you know, go to the foundation, do the foundation of you, you know, have them take the selfie, the foundation of you contest, give them a new lip look, and then say, now we'll be able to design your entire new look when we get mm -hmm. together at your follow-up patient with friends. Right. I agree. Okay. And one other thing I've been doing is if they do not have time for me that day, then I'm getting their name and their phone number and we're setting up an appointment so I can get together with them. Okay. Because yeah, I am. I'm usually, mm, on one of those full days, I'm usually drawing at least five names of people that I couldn't see that day. Because okay. people have busy schedules. Mm -hmm. And also, if I've got the lady and she's got her five kids at the salon with me, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'd rather do it, with, you know, at a quieter time. And make it a pampering session. And that's what yeah. I say. When people have kids, I say, oh, you know what? Right now, you're mm -hmm. with your kids, and I believe wherever you are, be all there. So mm -hmm. why don't we set up a time where um, we can get together, and it's a pampering session just for you and your girlfriends. And I always talk you and your girlfriends, you and your girlfriends, at your follow-up page with friends. So as you're selling to these people, Vicki, definitely got to go back and, and fill out the profile card and go back and say, okay, it's time to schedule your follow-up. I need to see how the skincare is working and be that professional. But I am so proud of you. You guys, you've heard her numbers. And she she just finished National Court of Sales, and I don't know if you guys remember, but I know Amy does. Do you remember about six weeks ago? She goes, "Oh no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish it. No, it's too far. No." Belief, B E E, leaf. Okay, belief. I'm so proud of you. So 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 proud of you. I have not personally finished the National Court of Sales because. I need the product. I have a list. I just did my inventory. I did it in about 
20 minutes, I did like an eyeball inventory. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm down to one of this cleanser and one of this mask and one of this. But I was waiting until after the end of the quarter because I was already a star and I was like, I don't want it to go until the 16th. And now I'm like having to borrow product from my own kid. <laughs> That's okay. She's borrowed from me. Okay. And speaking of which, I do not mind if you guys swap product as long as it's with someone who is active. Do not swap product with someone who's not active because their product might be old. It's not fresh product. If I swap product with you, I got that product in the last year, if not earlier, okay? And we never, you know, want to be a distributor. You don't just want to sell to consultants. But I will tell you this. If you have a consultant who borrows product from you and they are not paying it back, the product back, within a few days, because, like, my, art, my order's on the way, they should pay you as if they are a customer. When they pay you wholesale and then tax on the retail, you are now a distributor. You are a multi-level marketing distributor. So they can buy it from you as if they are a customer. Now, I've actually heard of directors that say if they have a consultant, even in their unit, who comes to them and says, I need, you know, I need lifting serum. I need some, they have them buy it from them as if they're a customer and they say, I will hold your check for one week. If you don't return my product in one week, then I'll cash your check. If you do, I'll tear up your check. I know that doesn't sound real go give, but you guys, we're dealing with a lot of consultants who are not stocking. They are stalking. <laughs> and we stock up. We have customer delivery service. We have um, the direct the, the direct thing that they can do from the company. We there's all kinds of ways they can get their product quickly without you having to stalk another consultant. And when someone takes product off your shelf, that is your cash going out the door. Because inevitably, anytime I give away or lend the last of anything, I get an order for it that day. It'll be a lipstick like Sunny Citrus that I hadn't sold one in eight years. And I'll let somebody borrow it and somebody will order it within an hour. Murphy's Law. Okay, so that's our rule. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right, so in my unit, and I think Sharice is doing this too, in my unit, in April, May, and June, when you place a qualified order, you get a $50 retail bonus from me. When you do April, May, and June, you get an additional $50 in bonuses from me. So some of you guys have not cashed in any of your bonuses. And I will be sending out an email on June 30th saying you have 24 hours to pick your bonuses. Because I leave, hi, Sayonara's husband. Um, I leave on July 3rd. I get back on the 10th, and then I leave on the 17th for seminar. And if it's not shipped out by July 1st or 2nd, it's not going out. Okay, so that will be very clear in the email to everybody. I want you to get your bonuses. I want you to be able to cash in on all this, but I can't carry it over till August or September. So if you know you placed a qualified order in April, May, or you've done one or going to do one in June, then I will owe you a whole balance of 200 in bonuses. Otherwise, it's 50 per month. So start thinking about what you want. And let me know, okay? And I think Sharice is doing that as well, but you can check with her. Um, she's, is she nodding? Is she not? She is nodding. Okay, I thought Sharice was doing that. Andrea's unit is doing a whole different thing. Uh, Tara's unit is doing a different thing, but Sharice and I, we're in sync. Okay, we're like two peas in a pod. Okay, two little brown peas in a pod. All right, um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Incentives, we did that. Um, okay, how to earn stars for your star bar. This month only, okay? You know you earn stars for being a star consultant as of June 15th. You guys will be getting those. Um, when I send everything out at the end of the month, you'll get those stars. But you're also getting a star for every new team member, every five marketing shares, okay? And that's only this month. And then we're going to 
change this up a little bit for the new year. So make sure that if you do five marketing shares, you get a star. If you were a star consultant at any level, you get one to five stars. If you have a new team member, you get a star because you're a shining star no matter who you are. Okay, let's see. All right, so make sure you're working on that as well. It's all on Facebook. It's all on my website. Okay, now I can talk about what I was going to really talk about. So we're going to talk a little bit tonight about scheduling. I have worked my business as um, a military wife with one child and then one on the way and barking my brains out during the whole pregnancy and actually earned my card the day she was born and then was a director three months later, worked Mary Kay full time, moved two more times at the military, went through a divorce, worked Mary Kay full time with two kids as a single parent, never missed a mortgage payment, never missed an electricity payment, never missed anything. Now, I didn't have any fun things going on. I worked. I worked probably more hours than I had ever worked any other job in my life. But I paid off $20,000 in debt that I did not rack up, that someone else racked up under my name. And I paid it off in six months to the day from when he walked out until the divorce was final. January 1st to June 30th, paid off $20,000 in debt, kept up my standard of living. I held three to five parties. We called them shows a week. And nobody left without booking a follow-up facial with friends. And you guys, it wasn't that I was pushy or in their face or desperate, never desperate. But I was like, why wouldn't you want to get together with friends? Why wouldn't you want to share this time with other people? I'm amazing. Like, who wouldn't want to be in my space? I, I could not fail. Not because I couldn't fail. It's because I could not fail. They're, they're, the lights would go out or the water would be turned off. So you guys, desperate times call for desperate measures with a great attitude and a belief in the company and the product. And so when people say, oh, I think I want something with a guaranteed income or, oh, you know, I, I don't know, nobody's booking. And I just want to go pooey, pooey, pooey. Because let me tell you, if you have discipline, self-discipline, and you have set your goals and they are non-negotiable, non-negotiable. And you wake up every day with a prayer and a song and a devotional. And you're like, this is who I am. And this is what I'm doing. And this is how powerful I am. And nothing is going to stop me. And you guys, I did not have confidence. I had very low self-esteem. I had been told for 10 years that I was fat, that I was ugly, that I was stupid, that I couldn't remember anything, that, you know, why couldn't I keep up? Why couldn't I, I, I was beaten up. Then I was beaten physically. And then when my children were threatened, I said enough is enough. So I did, was not coming from a place of strength. I had to choose it every day. And I didn't even think about it. It's like, I just got up and said, got to sell some product today. Got to find some new team members today. And it's amazing when you change your life, when you start paying off your bills, when you see the cash flow, when people start seeing you as that professional, you start acting like that professional. Your belief grows. If you don't have a lot of belief in this company, in this product, in this career opportunity, it's because your activity level is too low. That's why your belief is low. Your activity level is low. Because if you look at your day book and you have snow blindness, and there's nothing there, and you're not in a good place, then it, it's called creating your momentum, choosing it. And I'm not saying I'm going to make 50 phone calls tomorrow. Why don't you just make three solid contacts? Follow up, book them for parties, invite them to watch Peek into Pink, follow up, book them for follow-up facials with friends, sell them the product, you guys, when I was going through DIQ in a little tiny town of Hinesville, Georgia, little tiny military town, I remember the day I recruited my doctor and we finished my car production that morning with her order and I gave birth at five o'clock that afternoon. I remember being in DIQ with a four pound baby at home that I could not leave the house with, 
running to, now y'all probably don't know what this is, but running to a thing called Blockbuster to return Kevin's movie, his Teenage Ninja Mutant Ninja Teenage Turtle movie, to return it at Blockbuster, and looking at the manager and going, you're cute. And she goes, thank you. And we start talking. 20 minutes later, she's getting off work. I follow her home. Her husband meets us there. She signs an agreement and comes in with an $1,800 order all in the span of two and a half hours. You guys, the opportunities, the people, they are out there and they want this. They may not know they want it, but they want it. And when you keep it to yourself, when you when you snuggle in with it, you go, I'm scared. I don't want to talk to anybody. They might say, no, they won't like me. You know what you're being? You're being selfish. And what I want you guys to be is I want you to be giving and loving and show grace to people who don't know what they're saying no to. And just say, you know what? I'm not sure what you're saying no to, but if you ever change your mind, I'd love for you to give me a shout would love to feature you, your beautiful blue eyes. I would love to pamper you. You know, when, when your daughter is with you, she's old enough, she could come too. You know, I would love to have you come over. Oh, you have that sharp haircut. I could, would love to feature you on my Facebook page. Oh my gosh, I've never seen someone look so cute with glasses on. We have to feature you on my Facebook page. I can show you how to do a great eye look with those glasses. Be excited. Be excited. I mean, if, if somebody you knew or you didn't know had a disease and you had the cure for it, would you not stalk them down until they listen to you? You have the cure for poverty. You have the cure for the uglies. You have the cure for get, looking older. You have the cure for self-esteem. You have the cure for self-confidence. You have the cure. You have to have the discipline. The discipline must come first. A dream without an action is a dream. A goal without an action is a dream. The discipline of setting the goal using these sheets that I put back on Facebook again because they're so incredibly awesome. This is powerful. Have the discipline to fill out these sheets like Keely does and track your activity. Let's go through these. Income producing activities. Facebook, Instagram, not an income producing activity. You know, I hear people say they don't have time to go to the gym, but they'll watch TV for an hour. I hear people say, oh, I don't have time to make booking calls, but they'll stalk their friends on Facebook for two hours. You have the time. Don't tell me you don't have the time. You have the time. I remember one of Andrea's unit members has four boys and she said, I go out in my car. They think I've left the house and make my booking calls because that's what she had to do so they wouldn't think she was home. Make the choices you need to make. Have the discipline. Make sure it is income producing activities. The next page is having the discipline to do a weekly plan sheet. You guys, right now, you can plan out your doctor appointments, your dental appointments, your hair appointments, your nail appointments, your veterinarian appointments, if you have an animal, um, your kids' appointments. Now, I realize things happen. Emergencies come up. You know, it, you, you can't always predict everything. But a lot of it, you can. Ask yourself, do I want to be proactive or do I want to be reactive? Do I want to get up in the morning and just fly by the seat of my pants? That is not discipline. That is not owning your own business. That is having a hobby. That's a hobby that just happens when it happens. This is the time. We're going into a new seminar year. We're in the first quarter of the new seminar year right now. This is the time to commit to a weekly plan sheet. Quit being reactive, be proactive. When we first started doing this a few months ago, 
Keely, do you remember when we first started doing this? It was about three or four months ago, right? Yeah, we started, it was in January, because we kicked it off in January, that's right. I started following this, and I realized that probably 25% of my life was reactive. I was doing a lot of if I feel like it. I'm gonna go to the gym Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I would look at my calendar and go, I went Tuesday. What happened Monday? What happened Wednesday? I'll go Saturday. I realized that unless I write it down and have the discipline to commit to it and be proactive and treat it like a job, it's not going to happen. You guys, I have developed some organizational skills since I started using this. I thought I was organized, but now it's like boom, 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 boom. And I feel so much better, so much better. Now, I will tell you this. I cut one thing out starting in January. I was going to a Thursday morning Bible study. It started at 9.30 and was over at 11. That's not what was happening. I was getting there at 8.30 or 9, and I wasn't getting home till 1. And so what I decided to do was I decided to join a Bible study that was in a very strict time frame with working women who weren't there to have breakfast and socialize and, okay, which that's great, but it doesn't fit in with my discipline or my proactive schedule. And those women know what I do. So it's not like, oh, you could be there working your business. They know what I do. I now schedule out when I work out. If I am not going to go to the gym, I get up super early and I'm on my carpet. My carpet now has a whole different smell to it. I have to put down a mat now because we're going to have to get them, the carpets clean because I discovered this girl sweats. I do not glisten. I do not glow. I sweat. Just kidding. Okay, so, but stick to your weekly plan sheet. Then, then, wait, here's your weekly sheet. Here is your minute by minute. Yeah. So if I say, oh, on Monday, I'm going to make booking calls. Okay, on Monday, I'm going to make 10 booking calls. Mm. Okay, on Monday, from 8 until 10, I'm going to do 10 dials before 10. And if I'm going to work out, I have to work out before then. And then I have my 10 dials by 10 and then be dressed and cute by noon because I have my director's video at one and I have my call with you guys at five and I want to be fresh and I want to be alert and I, I want to be calm for that. So that's Monday. And then Tuesday, there's a whole nother schedule. And then on Wednesday, I'm at the Dream Center. And y'all know that. If you ever try to reach me on a Wednesday, I'm at the Dream Center. Leave me a message, I'll get back with you on my way home. Thursday, big working day with Mary Kay. Big coaching call day, big working day, lots of faces. Friday, girls night out, Mary Kay. That way, if Andy isn't traveling on the weekends, I can give him my weekends. Now, two Saturdays a month, one Saturday, I have a Mary Kay brunch. One Saturday a month, I have new volunteer orientation at the Dream Center. But I'm only gone till noon or one. And he's good with that. But we've worked this out. And I don't believe in asking your husband's permission, but I do believe in getting him on board with your schedule. Because I feel like when your kids and your husband see your discipline and they see this sheet and they see what you're trying to accomplish, they will be a lot more supportive of your discipline. But guys, if you have on here that you're going to hold a Mary Kay appointment and the appointment cancels or reschedules and you don't go ahead and make booking calls during that time, then they won't believe that you're ever going to do it in the future. So if I say, okay, so on Tuesday from uh, 6 until 9 at night is my Mary Kay booking time or my Mary Kay facial time, and the kids come home and the husband's like, I'm going to take the kids out for pizza. And I'm like, and I get FOMO because I want to go out with the kids and the husband and have fun. 
And so I go, well, I'm going to go with you. And he says, but I thought, I thought you bet your Mary Kay time. Well, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. Do they have any reason to ever believe me again? You're setting a precedent. You're setting a precedent. Go into your Mary Kay corner, wherever it is. Mine for ages was a corner of my kitchen. It was a section of my table. I had a red stop sign. And the rule with the kids was, unless this color is coming out of your body or the stove, you do not bother mommy. You do not. I mean, my dogs are trained. The red sign goes up, but the other side is green. And when it's flipped, we have what's called an open lap policy. Now, they're a little big to be jumping in my lap now. But to this day, my, my daughter will walk into the house. And if she hears me, you know, she hears like me in my office and stuff, she will very quietly come in and slip a note to me. It's called respecting your business. It's discipline. It's discipline. Discipline. Dedication. Are you dedicated? Are you dedicated to this company? Are you dedicated to your unit? Are you dedicated to your director? Are you dedicated to your work ethic? Are you dedicated to your product? Are you dedicated to your goals? Have you burned the boats? Have you said, this is going to happen no matter what? And this isn't a short-term energy. This isn't a short-term climb the mountain and, and jump off the mountain. This is Every single day, I am going to choose to be dedicated. Me comes first. Even on the airplane, what do they say? Put the mask on who? Put the mask on yourself before you put it on your children. I just turned the lights out on me. Okay? If you are not taking care of you, if you are not reaching your goals, you are going to feel cheated or dissatisfied. That brings nothing good to your family. But when you've accomplished your goals, when you've made those five calls, when you have those three bookings, aren't you like, bam? I mean, I remember one time I was laying on the couch. I was like, I have a headache. I don't feel good. We're kind of watching like a show. I was kind of going in and out. And my cell phone rang and I picked it up and it was one of my consultants. She goes, I have a new team member. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I got up and I ran in my office and my husband's like, I don't get that kind of rise out of you. You guys, he does, but no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. But you know, what I'm saying is we have to work with that enthusiasm, whether we feel it or not. Be excited about the career opportunity in front of you. Burn the boats. Know that you know that you know there is nothing else out there like this. Drink the cranberry mango pink Kool-Aid. I'm telling you, this business has saved me from bankruptcy, from a horribly abusive relationship. It has saved me from killing my children on several occasions because I would have to quit my Mary Kay to wear orange the rest of my life. I'm, I'm telling you, whatever it takes, figure it out. Look around you. What kind of home do you want to live in? Where do you want to send your kids to school? What do you want to give them for Christmas? Make your goals so big. Figure out where you want to take your kids on vacation next year. Maybe you want to take your husband on a cruise next year. I'll send you the brochure. You can go. I'm telling you right now. You can go on the cruise that my husband and I went on. It's $20,000 for two people. You fly first class to Europe. You've got a suite. You have 24-hour butler service. I worked for that and you make it happen. And whether he can afford to give it to me or not, doesn't matter. The difference was I paid for it. That's pretty incredible, you guys, for our 20th anniversary. That's pretty incredible. I want you to have that. And you don't have that by being reactive. You don't have that by saying, nobody wants to book. Nobody wants to be with me. Nobody wants to buy Mary Kay. Nobody wants to, I don't know why nobody wants to hang out with me. I think I'm very enthusiastic. You guys, Mary Kay always said, if you want to be enthusiastic, what? Act enthusiastic. 
Do y'all know what the word enthusiasm means? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Oh, Sharice knows, Sharice knows. Sharice, oh, you gotta unmute yourself, baby. Okay, what is it? it yeah. It means a high level of energy, excitement, um, just overzealous with, you just feel like you wanna explode. That's right. Very yep. good. Okay. So who knows what the Latin of enthusiasm means? Jackie, do you know? Jackie Ott, do you know? Yep. You're frozen. There is a... Uh, God with the name. So... Charisse's interpretation of enthusiasm is what we, that's what we do. We are excited. We are over the moon. We are over, I love zealous. Woo, that's a big word, 25 cent word. Enthu means God, the spirit. Enthusiasm means within us. Did y'all know that? I knew Jackie Ott knew it. We were in the same Bible study. <laughs> she gave me a thumbs up. Okay, so don that enthusiasm. And do y'all know, we always say, oh, well, I need someone to motivate me. Do you know that motivation only comes from within? Discipline, dedication, the third one is determination. That is where you believing in you comes in. Because motivation must come from within. That is that determination. That is getting up every day and saying, today will be the day. Today will be the day. Today will be the day. And I want to tell you guys something. When you get a no, you're due for a yes. When you get a no, you're due. But you know what? It's kind of like Vicki said. Not many people say no. If you're excited and you're enthusiastic and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'd love to feature you in my portfolio. Um, I'm with Mary Kay. What do you know of Mary Kay? I learned that from Paul Langworthy years ago. I have used it a kabillion times. That is a real number, okay, kabillion. Is Amelia there? Tell Amelia, that's a real, that's a Joannaism, okay? A kabillion times. What do you know of Mary Kay? It just opens the world right there. You find out if they have a consultant, you find out if they ever tried the product, you find out what they think. And if they say anything like, oh, isn't that for old ladies or whatever, I say, oh my gosh, you have not tried the new MK. You haven't tried Mary Kay till you've tried the new MK. Let's get together. Is there any reason why? Does this sound familiar? Is there any reason why we can't get together in the next day or so? Don't say week, don't say month, in the next day or so. Like Vicki said, people know what they're doing a week from now. They don't, I can't even remember what I'm doing 10 days from now, two weeks from now. Be proactive. So the three Ds, discipline, dedication, determination. Every day, wake up with those three Ds. I'm gonna be disciplined, I'm gonna be dedicated to my business, and I'm determined to make it happen. Be proactive, use the tools. If you're like, I'm not the kind of person to write things down, get over it. I'm telling you right now, get over it. There's something about writing it down, seeing it on paper. You ask any dietitian, you ask anybody who owns a gym, you ask anybody who does anything with measuring progress, and they will tell you, you must track your progress. It must be written down. There's something about having it written down. Look at Sharice's wall behind her in her office. She's got all those goals and all those plaques and everything in writing right there. I've got all my little flyers and my postcards right here so that when I'm sitting at my desk, I am looking at my goals right in front of me. It's that visualization. It's writing it down. I am the queen of post-it notes. I have post-it notes all over my designer mirror in here. Trash your office, trash your house, trash your car, trash your refrigerator. I, got, I love post-it notes. I have post-it notes everywhere that I can write little things on and say, don't forget. And stay fired up and Bible verses, because that is what's going to get you going when you don't feel like going. So I'm gonna challenge you guys, and if you're watching this recording and you want your dollar credit, 
for being on the recording, for watching the recording. I want to challenge you guys, super simple. I just want you to fill out, no, that's the call log. E -e -e, here it is. Okay. I want you to fill out your weekly schedule. Take a snapshot and send it to me. For Mary Kay Bucks for the auction. Just fill it out and see where you have pockets of time that you can commit to your business if you are organized and ready to be proactive. You've got your list, you've got your call log right here, my Mary Kay call log that I, I write down all the names of people I'm gonna call. I'm, gonna, I'm starring the ones that I want to be hostesses. And then as I call them, I'm checking it off. 10 dials before 10, if you wanna make it 10 in the morning, or 10 at night, okay? 10 dials a day, 10 dials a day. Uh, Joan, you're trying to say something, what? Oh, I was just um, saying that we could maybe fit in a facial this Friday um, with my friend Carol. That would be awesome. And I like how she's saying, maybe we can. No, we can. We will. We must. Discipline. Drop and give me 20. Okay. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I have to, you know, now y'all have to go to bed. I still have like three hours before I have to go to bed. Y'all excited? Okay. So who is going to fill out a detailed weekly plan sheet, hour by hour, and send it to me? In the next week. I don't care if you do it. Let me say, Kaylee, you've already done it. Suck up. Okay. Teacher's pet. All right. Fill it out and then stick with it. I want to see it and then I want to see you stick with it. Check things off. I love it. Don't y'all love to check things off? Yeah. yeah. I love to check things off that I do because that makes me feel like I accomplished it. Okay, one more time, this is on Facebook, but I just want to remind you how you earn MK bucks for the auction that we're gonna have on September 16th, which is a Monday night. So make sure you're on live for the auction. You get one buck for being on the Zoom video or watching the recording by five o'clock on Tuesday and telling me what the challenge was. What's the challenge of the week? Oh, you're all muted. Fill out your weekly plan. Yes, Keely held hers up. Fill it out and send me a picture of it, okay? You get $5 for turning in your weekly accomplishment sheet. If you did not turn it in for this week or last week, I am allowing you to go back to the beginning of June, but make sure on in touch you say week ending, whatever the first Sunday was. Oh, here it is. June 2nd, June 9th, June 16th. Okay, and your sales should always be backed up with, with wholesale orders, okay? You get $5 for being a queen. Vicki, you're the queen, you're the queen. You get $10 if you have a new team member and an extra 10 if they are qualified. So if you bring in a new team member in June and they get qualified in July, you get 10 in June and 10 when they get qualified. And then when you place at least a $600 order, you get $10. So all you guys who are ordering this month, you'll actually get your $10 as of July 1st. And I will email it to you. So what you do after this call, write this down. You email me to jshipe2009 at yahoo.com. Y'all know you need to be doing away with your maryk.com email address. They're being phased out. So start, go find yourself a professional email address if you don't have one. jshipe2009 at yahoo.com. Email me in the subject line, say MK Bucks 61719. I'll check it and I will send you your money. Cash. No, I'm kidding. I send it to you in an email. And if you want to, what I would do if I were you, so you don't just keep printing it, is I would just put it in a file on my computer. And then on September 16th, pull it off. You know how much money you have and just do it that way. Pretty cool, huh? Like a savings account. Are y'all excited about the MK box? That way you get what you want. 
and, and I'm not mailing prizes out every week, okay? So right now you all got a dollar for being on the call. You got $5 if you turn in your weekly accomplishment. Vicki got $5 for being the queen. Queen, queen, queen. Um, who got a new team member since June 1st? Okay, you get $10 for that. Who got, who has a new qualified team member? Okay, well, you will get $10 when they're qualified. And then how many of you are going to, or you have already placed at least 600 this month? So you turn that in as of the first day of the next month. Okay. Bam. Are y'all excited? A little enthusiasm? I know some of y'all are tired. Okay. Yay! Vicki's excited. Okay. And again, if you have not registered for seminar, I implore you, do whatever it takes, get registered for seminar. We will figure out a room, we will figure the rest out. We'll hide you under a bed if we have to, but we will figure it out. But you want to get registered because flights will start going up tomorrow because it'll be more than 30 days out, okay? All right, you guys have an amazing evening. Remember you're a shining star no matter who you are, shining bright to see what you can truly be. Go back and listen to Earth, Wind & Fire on YouTube. Get yourself fired up. That's a good song, huh? I love it. All right. And on three, we're all going to say hi, y'all, because that whole awesome thing did not work. Kathy, did you have a question? No, I was going to say bye, y'all. Okay, on three, we're all going to say bye, y'all. One, two, three. Bye, bye y'all.